Is he mad at me, season? Is he mad at me, season? Is he mad at me, season? Today we're going to learn all about simplifying expressions like this one. And I'm going to teach you about some key vocabulary like coefficient, variable, and term, and that'll help you be really successful with this objective. Okay, so first things first, with that expression up there, we have some different things that we can name. Like the numbers that are in front of each letter are called the coefficient. We're going to be working with those numbers and in this case adding them. Then the letter that goes along with those numbers are called variables. Those are our unknown amounts that we've worked with before that just represent a missing unknown amount. And then the whole thing, the coefficient and the variable, they are called a term. So you're going to hear me saying things like, let's combine like terms. And what I mean by that is I want us to, in this case, add terms that look the same. So they have the same variable, the same letter along with them, and you can work with those. So in this case, let's rearrange our expression to get those like terms next to each other. I think that's so helpful when you're first learning this because then it will look a little easier to then do the adding. Okay, so let's get that 5x and that 3x next to each other. And then let's get the two terms that have a y next to each other also. Okay, now we can start working with the terms that have the same letter, so like terms. So we can do 5x plus 3x. What do you think that is? You got it, it's 8x. We still, it's still an unknown amount, but we can at least combine that five and that three, add those two, so we have 8x. Okay, now let's work with the y's. When you add those, what do you get? All right, you are catching on, it's 5y. So we can simplify this expression down to 8x plus 5y. That's as far as we can simplify it without knowing what those two variables represent. All right, now I think we're ready to move over to the whiteboard. I'm gonna give you some more expressions to simplify. All right, so here's another expression that we can simplify. So this one, I made sure to make it a little bit more challenging with three different variables. And I threw something a little different at us because this X and this Z, I don't know if you notice, but it has no coefficient. So what do you think could go there? If there's no coefficient, how many of that variable do you think it's trying to represent? Okay, so some of us may have been thinking, well, there's just one X, right? So you could have a coefficient of one, but we don't usually write it like that. We just put the X, just one of that variable to represent one. So that kind of makes sense. Once you get two of something, then you write a coefficient. So we can erase that, but if it helps you, I always suggest that you go ahead and write the one if it's going to help you. I might do like that. Okay, so that when we're combining like terms, it might make a little bit more sense. Okay, so what do you think, what do you remember from the last example that we should do first? Okay, awesome. We're going to rearrange things a bit to get the like terms next to each other. So I'm just going to start with my X's and I see another one right here. So I'm going to move that over. Okay, I've got those two. Sometimes I cross them out in the original expression so I don't accidentally leave something out or duplicate something I shouldn't. So it could be good to do that. Okay, then I see the Y. Okay, are there any other Ys? Oh, yes. 
3Y. Okay, and then I've just got it really obvious. I've just got one thing left, 1Z. Okay, now what do you think I should do next? What do you remember from my first example? Okay, you got it. I should start combining the like terms. Okay, and this one again is an addition example, so I'm just going to start adding things that have the same variable, or I can call them like terms. So these two go together. What is 1x plus 2x? You got it, 3x. And then these two are like terms, they both have a y. So what about that one? Okay, you got it, 6y. And then this z, I don't see another thing to combine with it, so I am just going to leave it alone and put it as just z because we don't need that one as a coefficient. It just is something that could help. Okay, can we combine anything else? Okay, no we can't. They all have a different variable. So now we have simplified it as much as we can. And there we go. All right, for this one, I chose different letters, A and B, because just to show you that it can really be any letter as the variable. And so um, I just wanted to give you an example with different letters. And now I want you to pause the video and see if you can combine, uh, you know, rearrange it, get the like terms next to each other, and then see what you think about this one. I snuck in a subtraction in there. See what you think about that one. All right, let's check your work. First step I do is rearrange. I'm going to get all of the A's next to each other and I'm keeping the symbol, you know, the operation symbol with the term. Okay, got all the A's. Now I'm going to get those B's plus a B. Okay, now I can start working that with them. So what does this mean again when there is no coefficient with this A and this B over here? What does that mean? Okay, you got it. It's just one of that thing. So 2 minus 1 is 1 plus 5 is 6, 6a. Okay, now I see a plus sign there, so I'm copying it down, and then I'm going to combine these two. 4b plus, we, we just said that was one of those. Good, 5b. Okay, and that's as much as you can simplify it. Great job. All right, here's another example. I want you to pause the video, see if you can simplify this expression. All right, let's check your work. I'm going to rearrange things first. Get this other K next to it, then the M's, plus I might even make it a coefficient there so I remember what that means. Okay, then I can start. This is just 1K plus 4M. And to simplify it even further, I don't need that one, remember, so I can just call it k, because that is one of those, plus 4m. All right, there it is, simplified. It's simplest form. I hope this video helps you in your math class or at home. See you next time.